A deal on taxing wind energy we first reported on last week has died, so lawmakers are instead taking up a more controversial wind energy bill. News 9's Aaron Brillbeck is live tonight covering the Capitol. Hey, Aaron. Well, Carl, last week, House of Representatives leaders told us Republicans and Democrats had reached a deal to tax wind energy based on output, similar to the way that oil and natural gas are taxed right now. Wind energy companies were on board with it, but that plan fell through because there weren't enough votes to pass it. So instead, right now, the House is debating a plan to remove the tax rebate that wind energy currently gets. Opponents say backers are crumbling to big oil. Because that's who runs this building, is the oil and gas. Senate Bill 888 would end the roughly $70 million refund wind energy gets every year from the state. Backers say it's not fair that the state writes a check every year when the industry pays so little in state taxes. Opponents of the bill say, good or bad, that's the deal the legislature signed on to. And if we now default on our legal agreement, we will most definitely be facing not only a lawsuit, but potentially facing a lawsuit that asks for damages in addition to the refund reversal of our decision. No, the legislature absolutely can do this. They can eliminate the refundability of a tax credit. No problem. The wind energy, the wind and, uh, ind industry that is, says that the bill will hurt business. A lot of projects rely on the refund and could default on their loans. If the bill does pass, it heads over to the Senate. We're live on the scene on the story at the state capitol. Aaron Brillbeck, News 9.